Hi, I'm Kinkas and I'm a synth DIY guy. Welcome to my demo video for the Dual Selective Sample and Hold. Really cool module from Frogleg Synthesis. All right, so let's get started with this demo of the Selective Sample and Hold by Frogleg Synthesis. So this is the module right here. As you can see, the upper section I'm not using right now. I'm using the bottom section, but they're the same. Two inputs which are selected based on the state of the signal you plug into the select input. So above 1.7 volts, uh, you get input B. Below 1.7 volts, you get input A. Right? So it's not latching. It goes back and forth according to the voltage fluctuation. The outputs are identical, so you can send so you can save on a multiple and send your modulation signal to more than one destination. So right now I have a patch set up where input A is taking, there you go, white noise from the Erica synth modulator. Input B is connected over here to a triangle LFO. The clock right here, the clock is the pink, the clock actually being split by this little splitter right here, but it's coming from this other square wave LFO right here. And that's getting distributed in a lot of places, including the sequencer. Clock in here, this sequencer is actually uh, modulating the filter. It's part of the voice that I've assembled, which is basically the even VCO being fed by the selective sample and hold and that's going into the filter which is being modulated by the sequencer that's synchronized and that's going into channel one of my hex mix vca and the cv for the vca is coming out of a descent envelope generator right here which is also getting triggered from the same clock and it's decay modulated by the second output right here it's the screen cable the second output of the dual selective sample and hold so now what's switching right so far i've just described the basic sample and hold patch what's switching between the triangle lfo and the white noise is my arcade button right here the uh, flip-flop output so if I click on it once, it'll turn on and it'll stay on one of the sources and I click on it again, turns off, goes back to the other one. So right now I'm switching manually between the different voltage sources. Of course, you can automate this using an LFO or even a sequencer or anything you'd like. Right now, I just want to have the manual control right here on the button. So let's turn the patch on right here, channel one on the mixer. Right. So right now that's the random voltage being generated by the dual selective sample and hold. And that's coming out of the white noise right there. Now if I press the button. There we go. Now instead of this completely random succession of notes we're getting a ramp that rises and another one that falls which is basically the triangle wave i can make it a little bit slower let's make this a little bit slower nice it goes too low let's bring the uh, the octave up a little higher on the there you go so that's the Descent. So, what happens if we turn the clock real slow? You can see that even at a slow tempo, there's not really a lot of droop of the voltages. The pitch stays pretty steady over time. Cool, let's make it fast again. The envelope short.
And now I can select the noise as a source again. Let's make this a little bit, a little bit slower. Check the first one, see if it works just the same. So pretty easy, just, just plug in both of the uh, both of the sources right there. The sample and the select inputs and the outputs. There you go, same thing. So you can use this on complex patches that where you want to insert some chaos. I know it's good for chaos, but you can obviously also do just make any LFO a stepped LFO and other things like that. So, there we go, switching again. LFO source, white noise source. If I want this to be controlled automatically, I can plug it into uh, the output of my rampage right here, for example. Put it in cycle. Actually, I should probably use a bipolar LFO. Let's just take this LFO right here and look what happens. As the LED lights red, we get the uh, ramp. As it goes into green, we get random. Back to red, back to a ramp, a stepped ramp. Right, very cool. I'm gonna do a whole video on using random voltages later and it'll feature this module more extensively. But for now, I just want to see how it works and if it works well, and apparently it is. Great module by Pete Hartman. Really nice. That's it for today, please like and subscribe and stay noisy.